Hi, hi everyone, I'm Celeste and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, as you read in the title down below, it is a fabric haul from one of my favorite stores, Best Estafa. Best Estafa, as you may have seen in previous hauls, is actually a small boutique based here in Denmark. It's run by a nice little old lady who has grandchildren who love cosplaying. And because fabric is really expensive here, she decided to open her own fabric shop and start selling fabric and other such things to help cosplayers and crafters around Denmark to make nice things. So luckily I have the receipt here on this piece of paper because she owns the shop and she runs it very interestingly. And we spent a lot. And so I don't wanna spoil alert, but yeah, we've got, we got a lot of stuff. I mean, it goes all the way down the entire page. Like, can you tell? It looks like a staircase. Cool. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am a cosplayer since 2005. I like sewing different kinds of things and that's my main forte. So if you like sewing tutorials or if you like cosplaying, click the red button down below to never miss out on any of my future content and make sure to leave a like while you're there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the haul. Some of this is not for me, but it's for my husband and there's some funny stuff, so yay. First thing that we have here is this really nice, and I mean, this this feels really nice. It feels like um, moleskin kind of, but actually this is an interfacing. So my husband got some interfacing for his Rory costume that he will be making this year. I do hope to help document the process with him and help him on his journey of making his first ever cosplay and the cosplay that he's been wanting to make for a long time. So there's that. Here is some red, fabric. This is Garberdine and I got I think three meters of this. One of the biggest things about fabric shops here in the rest of the world is that we use meters not yards. So it's metric not imperial. Mm -hmm. So yeah I have red Garberdine here and it's really nice. I'm going to be using this for a future cosplay on my channel and if you have any guesses as to what this is because it's just red I'd be really shocked. <laughs> I got this black satin and I got five meters of this. This is just regular, like decent stiffness of black satin. I believe I got five meters of this. Don't quote me on that, but this will be used in a costume. And when I have all the pieces together, I will tell you what it is. So I'm gonna leave this one in my lap. Oh my God. Okay, so this, this I had to buy. I love this color. This is an actual silk of turquoise. This is three meters for 90 kroner. And this, this honestly was worth it. I got one meter, uh, no, I think I got half a meter of this. This is such a cool fabric and I love it. It's got these silver feathers uh, foiled on and then it's tie dyed between uh, purple, turquoise and navy. I love this. I only think I'm gonna make this into a top and anything that I have left over, I hope I can do something like make a scrunchie. But this fabric, amazing! Like I said, half a meter, not too much. It was so expensive. It was like 135 kroner. So if we do the math, that's about um, $23. Now my husband actually really likes this fabric and he chose it for me. Now this is really cool. This is a foil dot uh, thin velvet or not a pile of velvet, but a very thin velvet. I used something similar of this for my Honmura cosplay, but this one, I think I got like um, a meter. And so this is what you can see. You can see all the gold, but if it's up close. Up close, you can see that it's actually micro dotted velvet. And it feels so nice on the back. You can see that it's just plain black. Now this one will not require a lining and I'm really excited. I was thinking about making a dress because I like dresses. Am I wearing one right now? No, is that your problem? No, I'm wearing clothes. I'm on YouTube. There we go. Now I have a cosplay that's coming up and you guys know from last year, or if you follow my Instagram, you've actually seen me ask about this, but I will be doing No Flutters Princess Aurora and I needed some pink fabrics. I have pink chiffon here and I have white chiffon. Chiffon is one of those fabrics where I'm just like, I love it. I think it's amazing but it cannot be paired by itself because it is demonetization fabric. It's so sheer that you might see some naughty bits. So you can't just use chiffon by itself unless you have like 60 layers. So I got two different colors and I believe I got like three meters each. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I got a lot. 
So this is going to be used in my Princess Aurora costume. Now you might be thinking this is a very hot pink. I'm not worried, okay? I'm not worried. You shouldn't be worried either. That's what I'm saying. Next up, we got this maroon fabric. Now this maroon satin fabric is actually going to be used in a current costume that I'm going to be working on probably before this video comes out. So <laughs> uh, you'll see it soon when my friend sent me an image of a costume that I absolutely adore. So I will be working on that costume soon. I have so much to do. Not really, it's not that much to do. So hopefully I can get that done in time and it is an Easter project. It may not be the type of Easter that you're used to and I think that's what is great for my channel that I like to do things out of the box. There is string all over my arm. Next up is one of my husband's fabrics. He got this very beautiful goldenrod yellow satin and this is so beautiful. I hope that he likes this because it's super goldenrod and it's not so gold itself. Like it looks like my hair. You guys think it looks like my hair? <laughs> but this is for him, this is not for me, and I'm really excited for him to be going into the world of cosplay and trying it out for himself. Who knows, maybe he'll make like 20 more. You can never just stop at one, just like Pringles. Although I do know of people who have stopped at just one flaming Hot Cheeto, and that makes me really disappointed. Okay, so this is also for my husband, and one of those things that I messed up so dearly that I actually have, I feel like mad regret, but I have a solution and I hope I can make it after he's done using this fabric. This fabric is actually, wow, it looks so amazing on camera. Um, I have no clue what to call this, but it feels like a moleskin kind of thing because it feels like, like actually kind of like really, really thickish, but I know it's woven, but it doesn't fray. Okay, I don't know what this is then, but it's really nice. So this is the fabric. It's burgundy and black with some kind of egg crusty kind of like <laughs> topping. <laughs> and this is for my husband's costume as well. Now I messed up. I thought this was for my costume that I'm going to be working on in the future along with this fabric, but it's not. This is completely the wrong color. I messed up and I told her three meters. She ended up getting three meters of this and I'm just like, I didn't understand. And I just, I feel so bad. But if we have enough left over and let's say that we get enough likes on this video or comments, hold on, I gotta cease. Ah! Okay, so if we get a lot of comments on this video saying Dante in the comments down below, I'll reuse this fabric into a female version of Dante. So if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below saying Dante. Because that's the perfect color for his trench coat. My God, I didn't realize that. If you have any other ideas what I can use for any of these fabrics, leave that in the comment down below or tell me which one's your favorite. Now the actual fabric that I meant to buy was this one. Oh my God, it looks so amazing on camera. Just look at that shine. Like, I think it looks so amazing just looking at the viewfinder. But this fabric is exactly the same as this one, but in bright red. This is not gonna be the same. Wow, look, so this is the big difference about having fabrics. You can have a red fabric. You can also have a red fabric, but the shine on this one is so much better. And you can tell that this one has a different quality. Okay, hold on. So this fabric, it definitely has a different quality and shine. It has this really beautiful texture. It just feels like butter to your fingers. I love it. It's so cool. Um, this one I got three meters with. This is not all that goes into it. So we're just going to leave it down. Up next, I thought, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing with this fabric. Okay. As soon as I'm done making this video, probably going to be, or before I'm done making this video, one of the two, I'm actually probably going to be cutting this one up into... <laughs> into a dress. Oh my God. I saw this dress in the store window where it has like this ruffle neck and a ruffle waistband. And then it's like a halter and then has like a frilly skirt. I was like, oh my God, I need that. But this screamed my name. I'm all about turquoise and purples and pinks. And I'm just like, I need this. This fabric was actually 140 and I really loved it. Uh, it feels really great for summertime. It's nice and thin. This feels like a nylon polyester. Um, or a lot. It's not, it's not super stretchy and that's why I think it's more polyester than anything else. This one is so pretty. Uh, if I could just show you the pattern somehow and not being so stupid. Okay, so this is the pattern. 
there, you got to see the pattern. I think it's pretty. It's so pretty. I love this. This is, I think it's, this could be looking great as a dress, as a kimono or robe, you know? And yeah, this is gonna be one of the first things that I cut up from this call, call, from this haul. That is going to be one of the first things I cut up from this haul. We have this very nice, like this is like this black one that I mentioned earlier. This is just a short velvet and velvet just feels so good. After working on Morticia on the 31 days of Halloween, I want to make more velvet outfits despite the fact of having like short fuzzies everywhere, small fuzzies everywhere. I really love working with velvet. This one was actually on sale and it only has like 0.75 meters. So not even a full meter in this, but it was only 30 kroner, AKA five bucks. I'll take it. So hopefully on my channel, you'll see more like velvet things, more luxurious if you ask me. Actually, this is kind of like a short velvety kind of thing. Yeah, it is velvet. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Up next, the last fabric of the evening is actually something that I didn't think I was going to do, but I decided to do it. And this is going to probably be closer to summertime with the announcements of like the next king of fighters game going to come out i started playing a few different king of fighters games and my shiranui actually has a cow bikini oh, yeah! if you're following my twitch and you are on my twitch channel when i'm streaming i did announce that i will be making my shiranui's cow bikini and i what perfect thing other than actually having cow print i got half a meter of this and i am so excited to be working with this it seems really unorthodox for me to be doing a cow bikini ninja girl, but at the same time, I think it'll be really fun to make something so like loud and fun and not so cutesy wootsy, but you know, that's what cosplay is. It's imagination and whatever you make of it. So have fun with that. And then if that's a cow bikini and you're a ninja girl in a cow bikini, so be it. That'll be really easy to do, and I hope you guys are excited for that one. Next up, I got some trims. Oh, okay, so that wasn't the last fabric. The last fabric is actually this really nice black mesh. If you remember, I used a lot of nude mesh, but now I have some black mesh, and you know, this is demonetization fabric. This right here is pure demonetization fabric. I think I got like one meter or two meters. I did not need that much of this, but I love black mesh because it's nice and stretchy so yay last but not least is i got some trims i got this nice black and silver scalloped lace trim edging for this costume i got this really cool lace ring buckly kind of gothy looking trim here i think i got two yards of this i love this material this is so cool but all of this combined so this black satin this really cool like I don't know what this is, red fabric, and this, I will be making Eliza from Tekken. And Eliza is yeah! one of the coolest characters, if you ask me. I already have not finished Lily. I'm been really, really delaying on that. But I also got some, I also got some little knickknacks for Eliza too. We got these like little hooks that will go on the front of her outfit like this. We got four of them. Luckily she had just enough of these, so so they look like this. I'm super excited to, to be able to have these for this costume so I don't have to design something. That's so much nicer. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, and then I got one extra hook. This hook is so ornate. I wanna use this in like something super pretty. Um, but again, it's another like claspy and it looks like a freaking silver spoon kind of ending. I love it. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm going to just keep saying it's pretty. I think last but not least, there is one last chain. And this chain is a ch like, it's a trim. Like this is such a cool trim that it looks like it's a woven metal kind of chain. And I am going to be using this for this year's swimsuit. So I have two swimsuits that I'm going to be making. So if you guys are excited for that, leave a like. I cannot wait to do that. So that was my entire haul from Buster Stoffer. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I am so excited for my husband to jump into the world of cosplay. I mean, he's already done it. He started cutting up his shirt and everything. And then he's got him, he already ordered his wig and everything. I'm like so excited for him. <laughs> Anyways, 
guys. I hope you enjoyed this small fabric haul, like everything haul really from Best of Staffa. I even got like, we found this like really cool um, fairy tale book. It's in Danish. So we're going to be trying to read this together. And I got this really cool Hello Kitty like luggage case. If you guys are really curious, leave a comment down below if you want to see the luggage case. I don't feel like it's super relevant. But if you do, uh, let me know and I'll post it in the community channel. So thank you so much for coming in and checking out my fabric haul. Have any questions, ideas, or if you just want to say hi, go ahead and do that in the comments or leave some seal claps. And I will see you guys after I say my montage. So, so leave some seal claps down in the comments down below if you have nothing else to say and remember to stay inspired be creative and i will see you in a future video bye